to find the uncertainty. Well, measurement is equal to the mean of all your measurements plus minus the uncertainty, and don't forget the units. Hello, everybody. My name is Ruben Isaac Gary from Columbia University. And today, with a Columbia University student, I am going to be finding the dimensions of this paper. Hello, I'm going to be solving this measurement problem with Isaac. All right. So let's begin by talking about the measurement. So the measurement Measurement is equal to mean plus minus uncertainty and then the units, of course. So first, I'm going to measure two times the length of this paper using a meter stick. And all right, 27.4. Uh, did I straighten it up? Mm, yeah, Okay. 27.4. Let me measure. No, no. Uh, I have to do it again, of course. So let me see. Uh, 27.6. So now you can do the same. Okay, so let's see. First time 27.5 and now 27.7 centimeters. All right. So uh, all our values, 27.4 and I got 27.6. Okay, now let me write mine, 27.5 and 27.7 centimeters. All right. So now, the mean is essentially the sum of all of these divided by how many terms are there? Four. So that means we have two terms for me and two terms for you, correct? Yep. So uh, that doesn't really matter. We're just adding them all up. Okay, so for x1, me, x1, x2, x3, x4. So, so now, x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 over? Uh, four, four, because there were four terms. That's right. So x1 and x2 are going to be my measurements, 27.5 and 27.7. All right, just add them up. It doesn't really matter which are yours and which are mine. Okay, so let me see, 27.5, okay, 27.5 plus 27.7. All right, it's 27.55, but we can't use 27.55. You know why? Yeah. Because there have to be three significant figures because we're using three significant figures in all our measurements. So you have to round up? Yeah, 27.6 to be precise. And what are the units? Uh, centimeters, of course, but that, that doesn't really matter right now. Why are you taking the square root? Uh, we're finding the standard deviation now. So how, standard how do you find the standard deviation? The square root of x1 minus the average, the whole squared, plus x2 minus the average, whole squared, uh, all the way until xn minus x, whole squared. What is on the denominator? Uh, root n minus 1. Okay. So now... So let's see, yeah. let's calculate that. So, okay. I personally got, hmm, let's think, that's got to be a 0 of uh, 27.4 hmm. minus 27.6. Why 27.6? Because that's the average. Okay. And then square it, and then also... So, we're going two. to have four squares, right? Yeah. But the thing is... Uh, one of them is going to be equal to zero. Why? A twenty-seven point six minus twenty-seven point six. Oh, twenty-seven point six was one of your measurements, right? Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. Stop making a distinction. All right. All right. So now we are gonna write that all out. So that should be zero point two. And then the same thing as zero point one. Well, squared. actually, it's minus zero point two squared, then minus zero point one squared, then positive zero point one okay, squared. But the square is gonna take away the minus sign anyway. Of course, yeah. And then you have the zero, so that doesn't really matter. So now let's just take that 
all in. Uh, that term is going to be 0 because 27.6 minus 27.6 is 0. Yep. And then you're going to have 27.7 minus 27.6. I don't need that much space. All right, we've written that all out. That's going to be equal to 0 0.06 over 3. Okay, oh. let me calculate what that is, and that is going to be zero point one four one. That's right. All right. So now we know the standard deviation, but we're not done just yet. We need to also find standard error, which is the standard deviation of the mean. Standard error. What is yeah. that? All right. So standard error is the standard deviation of the mean, as I just said. So all you need to do is take standard deviation and divide it by the square root of n. And mm -hmm. n is not going to be 3. So So standard error gives you a measure of how accurate your data is? Yeah. So So the more accurate our data, the bigger or the smaller the standard error? The smaller. Okay. So anyway, uh, of course, we're going to take uh, the square root of 0 0.03 or 0 0.002 divided by the square root of all of that, which is the square root of 4. So that's the square root of 0. Point, okay, that's the square root of 0. Is that 0 our standard 0 error right there? Yeah, okay. 0 0.707, I believe. And what are the units? Uh, centimeters. We already uh, said that. Okay. So that means that now our measurement is 27.6 plus, plus minus, minus 0 0.207. 707. Oh, 707. Yeah. And then. So that's the uncertainty, right? Yeah, but. So that means the maximum. Don't forget the units. Be, yeah, the maximum our measurement can be is 27.6 plus 0 0.707. Yeah. And the minimum it can be is 27.6 minus 0 0.707. Yep, so that's the length and of a the medium it can be is 27.6 centimeters. Yep. All right. Wow. Yep. High five. That's good. All right. So that's the answer. Thank you, everybody, for watching.